Welcome to the playback. let Facebook catch up here and get some notifications out. I am going to share. Maybe if I can find me. No, where am I? I'm going to get this shared to my my Facebook. Okay, and then I'm going to share it to a group. Share it to... Can't find it. Okay, I'm gonna get started here because I got a big project tonight. Oh, there we go. Now that's my opportunity. My VIP. Hmm. Weird. 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 Okay. Well. It is what it is. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is day 11 of 30 Days of Live. And tonight we are going to do our reindeer sleigh rides, complimentary blanket and cocoa, 25 cents a ride with our beautiful reindeer. We are going to do this on our 18 inch hexagon. Our, all of our boutique boards are 50% off. Um, Honestly, I couldn't tell you what this one was. It was like five ninety nine, is what it's uh, selling at, I believe. So, sorry, I should have been better prepared. Um, Eleven days straight of lives, and um, Friday nights I do a also do a live on our chalk group, which is um, Chalk Live at eight o'clock. So I just got done doing it, and this is what we did. We did baking spirits bright with our little gingerbread man. He's super cute. I did him in shimmer copper. I know it's hard to see the shimmer because of the lighting, but it's really cute. I have the Thanksgiving on one side, so during Thanksgiving we will be like this. And then once Thanksgiving's over, I'll turn him over and I'll have my Christmas decor. That's how this works. Okay, so we are going to do this. I'm going to do the outer rim and the sleigh rides and everything in white. Uh, the 25 right in white. But I'm going to do the reindeer and I'm going to put some copper in there. But I'm also going to do a little bit of, um, I'm going to find it, some uh, iced coffee. Iced coffee, which is kind of a tan color. And then also I'm going to put a little bit of bark in there, if I can find my bark. Now that's purple, I don't think that'll work. Okay, I'm going to find my bark. Well, I had this the other day, maybe I'll use it instead. Too close to the. I really want the bark, so I want some little bit of darker brown in there too. Sorry. Hold, please. I don't want to 
open up a new one if I don't have to. probably find it tomorrow. If you're coming in, let me know who are you watching from, if you've seen this before. Um, if you're what, catching a, the playback and you don't see the live button up here, then please put in the comments hashtag um, replay. save the bag if you I like these Ziploc baggy things I'm sending. I, I put a hole in it, so never mind. Never mind. <sighs> so stuff to me. Tomorrow, I think we're going to do, we have these wood uh, tags, and then I, I got the uh, transfer this to go with that, so I think we'll make some uh, Christmas tags tomorrow. Okay, so, that over there for now, I'll pick it up later. This is a brand new paste, never been opened. All you do is peel back. This, this right over here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see where it's kind of separated. So that's just the pigment that has separated. Um, and all you do is stir it up. It will go right back to its original color. It's like when you have a uh, salad dressing and the vinegar and the uh, oil kind of separate, you have to shake them back up to get them to merge back together. And when you first open a paste and you're stirring it, you can hear this. They say it sounds like a like snack crackle and pop kind of thing, but you'll, you'll hear the noise and it's just the paste trying to, uh, Incorporate itself with each other, you know, the water and the, the pigments. Okay, so there we go. Let me get that out of the way for now. And we're going to undo our board because it's brand new. So I put this off on it. If I knock my water base on the floor, that would be fun. This is the 18 inch uh, hexagon. And when you do the, uh, I'm determined to dump that one. Let me remove that. Okay. When you do these boards, you want to make sure that you have the hanging part of it on the top. Um, it has the logo, Chocotour logo back there, but. Um, it, it doesn't, if you do scrub up you know, with chalk, you can just let it down, wipe it off, and flip it around and do it the right way. Um, I've done that many a times, got done with the project, and realized it's upside down. So, I don't know, maybe I do it on purpose just so I can do it again, because I love doing this. This is such fun and such, such a therapeutic thing for me. I love, after working all day and having to do things, it's like, this is my downtime. This is my fun job. Okay, and this is a D size transfer. E is the largest. This is D. This is second to the largest. So on this one, I am just going to put the word back. I don't need to write everything. On there, I'm just gonna write back. And we need 
two. This one does not have to be cut or anything, but we are going to peel the backer. And with big transfers like this, I always peel the backer off of the transfer. And I usually get about halfway and I take the, t the fuzzing towel and I just throw it over the top. That way if this does happen to flip over for some reason, it'll catch most of the towel. I've learned the hard way. I've ruined a few transfers. I've had to call and say, I've ruined it. Can, can you please send me another one? They'll send you another one at a like significant discount, but you still have to pay for the reno. If it's their fault, if they, you, like, some of the transfers, we had a bad batch one time, and they weren't real sticky. So um, those, that kind of thing, they'll, they'll just replace. They're not going to charge you for that. And I'm just kind of fuzzing it where the design is, not necessarily the whole, I'm not trying to get out here on the edge. mouth. At least it's good for something, right? I'm going to get it to perfect, I think. You all know me. I don't, uh, I don't, um, measure. I, mean, I kind of like was going here and kind of guessing that if I'm doing this as a, if I was to do this as a customer, uh, this was a customer's order, then yeah, I would definitely make sure I had even, even, but I'm doing this as a live. I'm doing this just for my own decor here. So, giving you a, uh, what do I want to say? I don't know what I want to say. I'm sorry. So, get my other paste here open. Um, I am going to do the deer and the, the ground here first. And then I'm going to do a peel. So I, I'm going to peel it up. Um, I am thinking, I want to do white. I think here I was going to do everything white. I think I'm going to do the reindeer and the sleigh ride. This, these words down here in red, the, the um, candy apple red, do that in white, do these in white, and then do a hot mess technique here on the deer. So, I might start with the red just so I can move it down. So, I get my red stirred up here. Yeah, I did. Just gonna pull it down through the silk screen, making sure I get it all in those silk screened areas. Making sure I don't get it in the areas I don't want it in, like here and on the reindeer's ears or antlers. Sorry, not his ears. And I can hear all my hunter friends. Those aren't ears. Okay, put that over there. there. And then I'm just going to peel this up just so it doesn't sit in the... Oh yeah, that shows up really well. I don't know if you can see, but... I'm going to blow dry this a little bit, put my glasses on so I can see comments here. Hey, Millie. Ellen. Down. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do the deer, or the, sorry, the, yeah, you can do the deer, it's a reindeer. This is a hot mess technique, and all you do is you take the colors you want, and you just kind of tap them on here. This is a uh, bark, it's the dark brown. And I need a little sticky poo, where is it? This is my iced coffee, which is kind of a iced coffee look. Take some, tap it wherever. And then my shimmer copper, put some of that on there. Try not to knock my candy apple red down on the table. That would be a mess. Take my small squeegee and then we just run it down through and what it does gives kind of a marbly effect. only thing with doing it this way though you do kind of waste some paste unless it's close to a color that you already have then you can kind of put it in there and I have this color I did the other night and it's kind of the same color I'm looking up here so I'm just gonna stick it in here I made this color the other night with uh, iced coffee and the shimmer bronze so we'll just stick it back in there and find a project to use it on and i'll lift up all my excess paste I didn't have a lid, I couldn't find the lid to this, so I have this. Okay, we're gonna lift this up so it doesn't dry on. Let me get this out of my way. Wow. I'm gonna blow dry this. I'm going to do this uh, transfer too. I'm going to do it on a uh, pillowcase so I can ha have it on my couch along with the Santa one I did a couple weeks ago. Okay, I'll lay this back down as you can. Uh, get my iced coffee out of the way. Then I'm just going to take my fingers and run it through the area that I need to do still. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Oops. That's for wants to stick to my plastic table covering here. Okay, and then I'm going to do white here. Maybe, if I can get that to stay back down. Thanks, Ginger. Oh, crap. Okay, so. My white. 
do this in white, this in white, and this in white. My transfer is trying to run away. Oh no. And then I'm going to wipe off all that excess, put it back in the jar so I can use it for another project. Okay, I'm going to lift this back up. Maybe. This is what happens when you have too much crap on your workstation. A little bit of bleeding down here, but I will fix that. I'm sure the bleeding was probably because I didn't have it stuck back down like it was supposed to. And then we're going to do this last part here, these words in red. Candy apple red. Make sure they're stuck down. So, where's my red? Push this up. Of course, I can't help it stuck to my table. Just pulling it again through the silk screen. Lifting up the excess, making sure there's no lines. Oops, kind of missed some on my wording there. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm concentrating. Can't do two things at one time. Feels like it's trying to dry. I hope not. big transfers like this I fold it so the sticky side is out and then I put it inside the water there get it all wet okay let me get some of this paste cleaned up Reindeer sleigh rides, complimentary blanket and cocoa. I love how the deer came out. Love, love, love. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? Oops, let's take it water all over there. Okay, that was my project for tonight. That was my 11th day of uh, 11 days of, or 30 days of life. I wished 11 days, no. So tomorrow I'll be back. I am going to do, like I said, we have these wood. Uh, little tags and I'm gonna put some stuff on the front of those for Christmas and then we're gonna maybe and then we're gonna put some uh, decorative Christmas ribbon through there so thank you thank you I appreciate y'all coming on as I stick my arm in the wet paste because duh <laughs> how long I've been doing this okay remember everybody be kind to one another God bless and bye Thanks, Ginger.